Hi friends, my name is Borradante. Let's paint the moth lady. So the moth lady is wandering through the night wearing the white dress and there is a whole bunch of moths next to her. That's all I got for now. Let's start. So it's gonna be kind of a creepy concept with um, a lot of a feminine gentleness in the character. That's what we're going for today. So I have a whole bunch of references of moths and one naked lady. Not showing. So let's start with the spotty composition. So I'm trying to figure out just the basic position and where the dress goes and everything else just to figure out the position of the whole character spot on the screen and then we'll add some sort of supportive background and foreground I wanted this to be almost like just a foggy night thing so it's like almost a dream kind of thing well horror horror situation I'm just experimenting here. I'm just a tourist. And the hair should be very bright, like light brown. I don't know, like blonde, but not really. Well, this looks just glorious right now. <laughs> High level shit. Okay, let's see the hair. Brownish, a bit darker than the skin. Some messed up strains of hair on the face, of course. Wow, this is already so creepy. I'm gonna love this. <laughs> I hope I won't mess up the uh, anatomy too much, because that's always what's going on. Anyway, let's go with the background foreground thing. Let's do some shadow on the ground to make the moth lady not fly in the air, which is actually a pretty good idea, but I know, for some reason I think it's kind of boring. Flying, it's like too romantic for horror. That's the case. Let's actually make some more space around her. Crap. So I started with just some random spots and then I realized Damn, I have to make sense out of all of this. So, this is some kind of a, like the entrance to the um, amusement park. That's the yellow thing where you put the coins in, so it would let you in or something like that. Trying to find some kind of road or something like that, like walking paths defined inside of this area. I don't know. <laughs> I started with spots and now I have to deal with this. Now let's let the background be for now and do something in the foreground. I'm not sure. Like one giant metal tube. This is like the ice cream stand or something like that. Okay, now let's add some details to the girl and then make sense out of everything else. Thank you. 
I'm gonna break my head trying to look at her head like this. <laughs> Keep forgetting to rotate the camera. Well, she's turning out so nice. I love this character right now. I wasn't going for this kind of look specifically, although it doesn't break any uh, initial concept at all. But I think this is even way better than I had in mind initially. Or actually, I didn't have in mind the actual face or like personality of the character. I just wanted to let it flow. And now we have this. I hope she's not super distorted in anatomy because painting head right away with hair at the angle without actual building up of the geometry that's almost guaranteed to have very stupid anatomy. It's really late at night right now, it's like almost 2 a.m. I hope she's not gonna come after me <laughs> if I fuck up the anatomy or something. Yeah, I'm actually going with these giant hairs in here because they look so right. Ah, feet, my only weakness, far from only. Okay, this is it for the lady. Let's add some moths already. Okay, let's see. Gonna drop just some spots for the composition and then we'll detail it more. Okay, let's detail some of these moths.
so funny. I thought it's like super hard to paint moths because it's kind of hard to realize how to shade them. They are not supposed to have highlights and there's no sense for painting a light and shadow on them. But the point is it turned out to be a lot easier. You shouldn't do that at all. You should just paint dark and bright spots all over their wings. That's all what they look like. I gotta say it's super creepy. I'm actually kind of sweating right now because this scene really makes me a bit uncomfortable. Like, I don't experience this kind of stuff usually, but these moths are really creepy. Maybe also because I'm sitting in the middle of the night next to very bright light sources and that's like a potential situation for moths to appear. But I don't have like moths fear or something like that. <laughs> but it's really like experience. I'm tripping balls. What is wrong with me? <laughs> She's not nice anymore. Okay, you know what? I'm done. It's been almost four hours and this is legitimately freaking me out right now. <laughs> Maybe because I'm really tired, I want to sleep, but I feel very unsettled. Awesome! <laughs> well, this is the Moth Lady. Nice to meet you. Pretty weird painting. Weird composition. She's kind of too high, but I feel like it's... Well, she's too high in all meanings, so... Yep, I'm done here. Thanks for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Sleep well. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.